welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and joining me today is Jacob. Hi, everybody. Hey, doing, man? Back from infirmary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah we, 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 we took a week. Uh, sorry, uh, we, we took a week break. Sorry, we, we took a week off. Yeah, that, that sounds better. Yeah, we took a week off um, just to regain our energy back and whatnot. So how have you? How, how are you feeling, man? Like um, last we heard, you got hit by the pandemics, and um, you're recovering. So how are you now? How are you now? Well, it's been uh, three weeks at this point, so I'm more or less okay at this point. Yay! Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah. And how about your parents? Um, your parents also got hit, so that's how you got uh, infected. Yeah. yeah, they're fine already too. They went on vacation about the uh, day before they got better on the summer home in the Croatia that they just bought. Ah, okay, cool, 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 cool. And yeah, good to know that you're feeling better, so yay, that's good. So, um, well, let's carry on the tempo with uh, what we're going to be reviewing this week. And this week we are going to review the My Little Pony comic, Generations issue number 3. In this issue, Crackle and Dyer scheme, uh, Dyer's scheme to destroy friendship heats up, and Twilight, Sparkle, Pinkie Pie, and Sakura try to uh, try to get to the bottom of things. So, first impressions are in order. And Jacob, what do you think? Well, uh, mostly it's good. It basically continues the trend of uh, what started uh, the previous two chapters. Uh, same problems uh, are prevalent here, but then there's some things that really kind of drive it down for me in s- at some points. Mm, all right, all right. The problems are gonna become obvious pretty much. All right, all right. Uh, besides the uh, re uh, tracing, yes. Oh, there's more to that. All right, okay, cool, cool. And as for me. Uh, pretty interesting, really. Um, I, I like how things got worse, and they explain how it got worse, and you you can clearly tell that everybody is involved in just trying to solve this problem. And uh, for Grackle and Dyer, they're 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 doing their part. Um, technically nothing much, but they're doing their part so yeah it's going to be very interesting it's going to be very interesting going forward because uh, you know what um diane grackle don't much don't don't play much into this issue so that's going to be very interesting yeah <clears throat> so if you have not read this comic pause here and go do so <laughs> welcome back so let's start the comic with well our favorite Yellow Pegasi, Fluttershy, and she's teaching nature, um, getting to know the animals, and she's introducing the folks to Shriek Yowls, uh, and they're really interesting. They're kind of cat-owl hybrids, and they look cute, and Fluttershy is explaining to the students that um, they're, they're, they're neat, quiet, and they eat nimbus clouds. They don't like um, extremely loud, loud sounds. And yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of quiet is better. But while she's explaining to the students, we see the student... Um, Five, interesting, no, Yona. Uh, kind of snickering, giggling, uh, calling the uh, Yao, Shriek Yao's names, saying that they look like soggy marshmallows and whatnot. And after a few arguments here and there, uh, the Shriek Owls turned into aliens. What? <laughs> yeah, that didn't, I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, pff, 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 like in issue one of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, uh, Fluttershy says, 
ate nature fascinating. And yeah, this is fascinating. <laughs> scary. <laughs> really, really scary. I, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> so the student did a boo-boo and <clears throat> that's the end of that. Uh, we head to Starlight Glimmer's office and we see that Applejack and Fluttershy are... Um, well, Applejack is mostly calming Fluttershy's nerve down, telling her it's okay, it wasn't your fault. Um, Fluttershy says um, the student had been mean and whatnot. And... Yeah, th things are going to a downward slope. Uh, pops in Rainbow Dash and Rarity and saying that they've been, uh, they had to break up a fight in the library. Uh, it's a magic battle. So yeah, that's going to be very interesting and whatnot. So Fluttershy, sorry, uh, Starlight says, okay, we need to get to the root of the problem and I know just the matter to do it. And before I continue on, I'm going to ask for opinions. So, what do you think, man? Well, first of all, I have a question on the design of Fluttershy and Fluttershy's protective gear for the Shriek Owl's uh, quote-unquote projectile defense. Not uh, not just because it's because I think that uh, round shape would be more functional, but I also think that it would be a lot easier on the artist instead of making the the cubic thing around your mm -hmm, head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> what what sense does it make? Like honestly, if it was bees, I understand. Uh, like when I first saw this, I was like, "What is she wearing? Um, why? Like it makes." Not much sense, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. If if this was supposed to be made of glass, I think a bowl would uh, would be better. Yeah, I I don't think that the message is coming across. And didn't Fluttershy wear a beekeeper's outfit before? Yes, I but this honestly, I don't remember. But these things aren't bees, yeah. because. Uh, if uh, Applejack says later that uh, projectile defense is thicker than the caramel apple on a tractor engine. So I don't know how, how much a beekeeper's uh, hat would work in this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a, lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of questions being raised with what she's wearing. Yeah. But that's just the point. Yeah. And we already see Silverstream and Lucellus trying to, uh, what do you call, emulate or, uh, well, they're trying to look like Black Bell and Violet Shivers with Silverstream having the headband and Lucellus ha having those uh, emo marks under her eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Yowz are sitting there going, Bitch, what you just said to me? <laughs> <laughs> and then the reaction happens. But you do have to feel a bit bad for Fluttershy with what she had to put and put up with. Yeah, I mean, she just explained that uh, <laughs> the students have been awful, awful lately. Um, she doesn't mind that they tease her, but uh, the animals, like, yeah, that, that's, that's crossing a line. And good on the artist for not involving Discord in this, but Discord, like, <sighs> how do yeah. I put this? It's one of... Oh, man. Yeah. Let me guess, I think I know what you're thinking. When you got an omnipotent creature that can be at any time, at any place, you're kind of wondering why isn't he there when you need him most. It, that and also maybe Fluttershy tell, uh, told him not to um, be involved in this kind of situations, let it um, let it roll because lessons could be learned and blah, 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 blah. But... Uh, it's one of those things where if you have an omnipotent being uh, caring for you, wouldn't he be... How do I put this? Um, wouldn't he be extra protective over you? you? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> but then you have... That's the same problem that's with the movie where... Well, 
he could have helped if he was there. Yeah, but, but he but, wasn't. But this is chaos. So it's one of those things where maybe he let it slide because he's like, where this is going. Who knows? <sighs> And then he's not much of a friend now, is he? If he just lets things happen, even though he could have stopped the whole thing. But, Especially to flutter shy. I mean, it's one of those things where he knows things are going to um, end up well, so he shouldn't. I mean, this is all theoretical uh, talking right now, because we got no idea how the writers would have inserted Discord in. I mean, there's yeah. thousand and one ways to do it, honestly. Yeah, I know. It's difficult to deal with Discord because, well, he's just... He's Discord. His power level's too high. Yeah, I mean, he is the um, Deus Ex uh, Ex Machina for stories because he can solve the problem by just snapping a finger. Yeah, he's not not the only Deus Ex Machina in this comic. Ah, yeah, true. But if he's he's in it, uh, he would have solved it. Similar to yeah. what happened in the friendship season ten comic, <laughs> if his magic was not <sighs> limited and Fluttershy didn't stop him, <laughs> <coughs> yeah. oh god! <laughs> but anywho, uh, anything more to add? No, oh, yeah, I can imagine the Twitter might just being little bugs with blue check marks on the back that you have this really big urge to step on, so I don't blame Rainbow Dash and Rarity looking so pissed off. <laughs> oh, there's Twitter mites. Did they saw it? Yeah. Uh, they come into the office. Oh, wait, actually, th- and that's, an- and that's another complaint I have. It's the same problem that uh, I mentioned in the previous comic. Oh, okay. They're in Starlight's uh, old office back when she was still the student mm. counselor instead of the head mayor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but, but let's not carry over previous is- uh, previous. Uh, issues to the new one yeah. like that's previous things like that's previous things problem <laughs> yeah and it's uh, the same thing now but uh, beside that mm-hmm. uh, Applejack and Rarity come to the office and uh, Rainbow Dash has me and Rarity just broke up a magic battle in the library and then uh, yeah, Rarity right. says and yes before you ask all the transfigured st- uh, all the students transfigured into Twitter mites have been restored to their original forms. Uh, Twitter mites are the uh, firefly things, right? If I'm not mistaken. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, man, it's been a are while. they? I remember them. Let's see, Hold MLP. Uh, ah, here you go. Uh, oh yeah, yeah the, uh, the Zeppy boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's the lightning butt thing. Oh yeah. Okay. Never mind. On that st- in previous statement, then. Uh, yeah. But aside from uh, that, I do think that the author's note was unnecessary since the events of Star and that starts referencing uh, literally happened in the previous issue. When she's explaining that. Uh, uh, wait, what's it called? Uh, Black Bell summoned the... What was it? The Afterlight Drawings. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, and... like <laughs> that, that, that's, that's one of those things that I got confused by it, watching it there. Like, wait, what? See issue 2? Well, what do you mean by see issue 2? <laughs> yeah, I think the writer thinks that the readers got a bit too short of an attention span to remember. But you have to remember, um, this comic came out a month after. But at the same time, too, they could have worded it, word, um, um, how do I put this, uh, explain it or word it better or describe it better because you you throw in Twitter mites and Twitter mites are from season five, uh, Bloom and Gloom. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, so that, that is way back in the days and you're expecting um, people to remember if they're was not Silver Quill or anybody else who's better at remembering episodes I doubt they're going to remember where they came from without Wiki was that the only episode they appeared in? I think so yeah uh... Jesus no wonder then it's no wonder everybody's going to forget that they exist 
Oh, sorry. Uh, they also briefly appeared in A Matter of Principle. Oh, well then, of course, nobody's gonna remember them. That's one yeah, but, of the worst Discord episodes. But at the same time, too, um, it's brief. So nobody's going to... <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. But anywho, okay. um, where were we? Uh, moving on. Mm-hmm. So uh, I can continue on? Yeah. All right, then. So in the next panel, we see that um, Starlight's pony for the job is Mer Mer, but the problem is Mer Mer is also facing problems because she too is facing some chaotic problem because uh, there's long story short uh, the bowling alley is having a feud with the uh, Hayburger store and uh, this and that blah 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 so basically whatever I'll give a second to remember their names. Um, Black Bell, Shadow Storm, and Violet Shiver's been doing. It's affecting the whole town, and because of that, everybody is um, not happy with each other. And yeah, I mean, that's that's the mayor's job to kind of solve the problem. But all of this is happening in a week, so she's panicking. But she tells the uh, three ponies, which is Starlight, Pinkie Pie, and Rarity, that uh, she has plenty of time to help them, no problem. So, uh, Starlight says, we got this happening, and maybe uh, it's all connected. Let let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. And a few hours later, they got nothing. So... Trouble still going on, and they're, they're having conversations and whatnot, and trying to think of a way to solve this problem. And Pinkie Pie chimes in, saying that, you know, if the ponies are fighting each other, why why don't we just throw a party? Um, what was her line? <clears throat> Friends disagree. It's normal. It doesn't mean some pony is out to get. Uh, it's out to get Ponyville. Uh, it's not. It's, it's like this. Not. Uh, I don't know how it got so jumbled. I could waste time blam blaming Rarity, for example, or I could spend time to. Sorry, I could spend some time smoothing out the buds, turning bumps, <laughs> turning it to snags into snugs. Blah blah blah. And yeah, Pinkie Pie brings up a really good point. Like, wow, things are done. Why don't we just try and solve that thing? Move forward and so on. Yeah. So, everybody's impressed and likes the plan. Yay. <clears throat> a few people don't like those plans. And it seems that... Uh, <clears throat> Grekel and Dyer are those people. So, in their world, they throw snowballs at targets, the pony targets and whatnot. Are they uh, snowballs? I don't know what is this. I I think it's snowballs! Eh. So, anywho, uh, they, they play games and whatnot and try to say, or uh, try, try to celebrate their victories of creating havoc. Haha! And Trench comes in telling them that, yeah, uh, guys, the havoc that you're creating, they're trying to solve it with throwing a party. And, um, Greco? Oh man, uh, yeah, Greco. Greco says that that's either the smartest or the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And she's just pissed off because yeah, she she's just need an outlet to uh, let loose her rage. And Dyer just says, okay, we need to get them, uh, we need to take them out. We need to take them out fast. And I'm going to pause here. So, Jacob, what do you think, man? Uh, poor Mayor Mayor. I mean, I know we've seen all the shit she has to deal with on a daily basis back in 
friends forever issue with the Apple Jack. Mm-hmm. But here she's going into conspiracy investigation more, so I don't blame the girls for having momentary hesitation of piling up even more work on her considering how bad things have gotten in Ponyville. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't can't blame her. I mean, it it is her job to kind of solve the problem, but that's what happened when you don't have a police um service in Ponyville. Literally, yeah. they don't have one. What Not I that. can say for G five is they have a sheriff, so that's good. Advancement. <laughs> yeah, but how effective it is. <laughs> we, we put that aside. We put that aside. <laughs> Anything else? Well, uh, I do have to argue the Pinky's idea of it doesn't matter who started because um, that's kind of the worst attitude you can have, especially in a situation where there's a clear bad guy, but I'll only, I'll only let it go in this case uh, because uh, as a reader, readers, we already know that the whole town is being played against one another. That is true, that is true. Yeah. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, as the reader, we do know who's involved and who's responsible for the troubles. <laughs> but as for the ponies, they got no idea what's going on. For all they know, um, one pony is fighting against another. One says that they didn't do it and um, they're taking revenge and so on, blah, blah, blah. And yeah... If I was in their shoes, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't blame them. I I probably would do the same and whatnot. But it, this is one of those things where it's a good plan in the um when when you zoom in on the problem, like it's uh, what was done is done, and you can't change it. What you can do is try to move forward and. Uh, let bygones be bygones, and with it's technically a good plan. But the problem is, it doesn't really solve the whole issue of who did and done it. Yeah, and all of a sudden, I'm having the flashback to wait, what what was it called the uh, uh, the issue where the whole town uh, had a feud against uh, one another. Um. Hmm. Ponyville days. Ponyville days. Uh... Yeah, uh, the one where uh, they were going to put uh, up, uh, some kind of plaque or something for the first uh, building in Ponyville, and it came down to uh, Rarity's um, Carousel Boutique and uh, Applejack's uh, house. Is this a comic? And- yeah, yeah, it's like uh, really early in the series, and then the whole town went to war with one another until Twilight came and tried to fix the whole thing. Oh man, I forgot about that one. Uh, which book was that in? Hold on, let me check for a second. Uh, feel it feels like it's a Friends Forever thing. <laughs> Man, it's been a while. Okay, it's Ponyville Days issues 30 and 31. 30 and 31, so that's Friendship is Magic then? Yes. Oh. Uh, you know what, I'm going to... 2015. Click. 2015, wow. That has been a while, oof. <clears throat> Give me a second. Yeah, I, I, things are getting into... Yeah, I'm trying to remember it. And yeah, there, there's some kind of fight. And ooh, let's see, let's see, let's see if I can bring it up now. Okay, Friend Magic issue 30 something, what? 31? Yeah, 30 and 31, yeah. 30, 31, all right. Let's see that here. Uh, okay, well, what, what am I getting? What am I getting? Oh god, the. the Oh, it's done. It's art. Okay. Uh, Agnes Garboska. No, no wonder. Okay. Yeah. Written by Christina Rice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And by the way, Agnes Garboska's art is not bad. It's just that 
uh, oh, it's not with rarity. It's with um, the the feud is going for uh, filthy rich and diamond tiara because uh, something to do with the towns. Uh, filthy rich having the oldest business something like that. So yeah, that, that's how the feud happened. Hold on. Once again. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's between uh, Applejack and Filthy Rich, but then Rarity sides with Filthy Rich mm-hmm, because as a business, blah blah blah. blah. Then, yeah. yeah. So yeah, anywho, that that's where they appear. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> something similar, something similar. Yeah. But let's carry on. Oh, do you have anything more to add? Yeah, uh, but speaking of G5, uh, I do have a slight uh, pet peeve uh, in the art with uh, in the uh, in the mayor's office uh, because it's the same that I have with G5, where ponies are now just holding things on the bottom of their hooves. I mean, at least in G4, uh, they were trying to be a bit more subtle about it and try to avoid it having. Uh, by hang ponies uh, hold things in their mouth or have hooves bent in a way that it makes it look more feasible that they're holding something but here they're just being shown holding it doing the G5 thing and it's uh, kind of annoying Ah, or unicorns not using their powers to lift stuff yeah that too yeah yeah yeah. oh god yeah I I see what you mean but there's always been the thing of how do ponies hold stuff? That doesn't make sense. Just use your mouth, but no, we can't have uh, children see that because they're gonna do it then as well. That's stupid. Uh, there's so much dumb in the world. Yes. Oh, uh, and another point for spot the redraw with Pinky's face at the end. Uh, yes, I see. <laughs> uh, That's boy. from Rock Solid Friendships. Oh god! Yep, yep. <laughs> god, but still, okay. uh, I, I'm just gonna let that go because by this time around, it's similar to, it's a, it's it's expected. It's expected by issue three. If you're not expecting it, then what's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. As for the riches, um, I'm getting eighty surfer bro dude wives right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> but the gag aside, the plot, the the plot. Se- okay, hold on. No, I, I'm gonna hold that one uh, for, uh, for the next page. All right. All right. But uh, hold on, we do we do uh, re- discover something interesting that apparently it was uh, gra- uh, that uh, the smoothies were made from Grackle's magic. Yes, yes, that, that, that's that's one of. So the... that, yeah, that's to keep in mind. Yeah, but here's the thing, also, right, like. Uh, things got really confusing for me. I, I mentioned this in issue one, where I thought uh, the ponies were them, but no, it's actually their magics and whatnot. But th- that's what th- this was. <laughs> the more I think about it, uh, the more I'm getting annoyed, or the more the plot point of how they were made is not clear. Uh, granted, they did mention that they're gathering parts to create the schmooze, but not showing us that they're making it is kind of a no-no because what are they doing? Yeah, now that you mention it, that, that's also kind of uh, going, the plot's going against it's kind of, because it, we didn't really see them being made. We just saw uh, Trench collecting the ingredients. It's similar to uh a issue, sorry, uh, it's similar to season nine's uh, episode where Chrysalis created the bad version of the ponies or the negative versions of the ponies. And at least we seen how she do it or did it. So we, we weren't really that confused. But could you just imagine watching the show suddenly, okay, I need to make popcorns or something and just leave the... Um, episode on. Coming back, you see, wait, why is Twilight in a different shade of color and why is she mean? Uh, well, what's going on here? I, I don't understand. 
it's that similar feeling to this. Yeah, that'd be real confusing then. Yeah. Like, we know that they're gathering something, but we got no idea what they're doing. <laughs> uh, this is one of those things where this is G1's thing. And if you're a reader of G1, you might have gotten tips and uh, bits and pieces of, oh, I know what they're doing. Okay. <sighs> but, yeah, that's besides the point. <coughs> um, oh, yeah. Um, hold on. Mm-hmm. You, you were saying about um, the schmooze ponies or schmoonies are made by Greco's magic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, I think it's kind of a plot hole or whatever. Or in- inconsistency. <laughs> because uh, the witches can't use magic uh, outside the volcano. And yet here we see uh, Greco throwing a temper tantrum. Mm. And well, whatever, <laughs> these snowballs are fl- flying all over the place because she's using magic. That I'm going to scratch it off due to the radius of where they are. They're still in their home. Well, yes, but in, outside the volcano is not the inside of a volcano. I, I just... Yeah, I mean, it's the radius. <sighs> I mean, it's one of those things where you have property, how big is the property kind of deal, and your yard is considered your property, and if... <laughs> it's semantics, you know what I mean? Okay, let's just move on. Yeah, okay. okay, nothing more to add? Yeah. All right, so we go back to Ponyville, and we see that Pinkie Pie is planning on what to do, uh, just party planning and whatnot. Uh, Dash doesn't seem very interested, but... Uh, we see that Pinkie Pie has got the list, uh, location, castle of friendship, uh, team, besties, uh, fest, uh, gift bags, carousel boutique, invitations, spike, uh, refreshment, sugar cube corner, decorations, got no idea who. So... Everything's set uh, just for the decoration parts. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we see the we see Apple Jack, sorry, we see Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie planning, and we see that uh, the Shmonies are coming to Shugiku, Shugiku Corner to try and spy on the ponies, saying what they're going to do and whatnot. And Violet Shimmer gets offered as a sacrificial lamb. Violet Shimmer. Is, is her name is Violet Shimmer? Yes. Violet, Violet Shiver. Shivers, okay. Violet yeah. Shivers, alright. So Vi here got pushed by uh, Bell, Black Bell. Yeah. And yeah, pff, she's going to help with the decorations. Oh no. She's doing something nice. Ah. Yeah, oh, this is her will. This is her. This is the end of her. And we continue on to well, Starlight. She's having a tiring day, and she just plops down in bed. And one of the few details I like is that she has kites. Yay! <laughs> oh yeah, I notice it now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, she she likes the kites. Woohoo! So Still. as she lay down, almost dead, uh, we see Twilight. Uh, popping in, telling, um, you have a sec? Uh, I, I just spoke to the mayor about the party. And, oh, um, are you okay? You, you don't look okay. And Starlight just explains that just another day of chaos and bickering. I promise Pinkie Pie will show up tomorrow with the decora- to help with the decorations, blah, 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 blah. blah. So Twilight just says, ah, don't worry. I, I got discovered. You, you just... Handle you just take you just rest now and deal with the school. I'll take your place for tomorrow. Uh, Pinkie Pie is forcing us to make five hundred paper plagiarize tomorrow. So blah 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 blah. So yay, peaceful stuff. So yay. <laughs> so as we go to the next day, we see that yay, uh, Pinkie Pie in Sugar Cube Corners attic, her room. Yeah, that's what I think. Mm-hmm. 
uh, Pinky has gathered all the volunteers for the uh, decorations. They are Vi, Twy, and Starlight. Also, Cheerly is there. I got no idea what she'll be doing, but she's there. Uh, Took me a while. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's just like, huh, Cherry's there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's there, but one somebody isn't. Oh, uh, who, who, who? <laughs> well, uh, here's a big question that pops up at this point because it gets lampshaded. Where's mm -hmm. Spike in this? Uh, He's the standard member of the cast at this point and he certainly wouldn't leave Twilight's sight, especially now that he's her, uh, her royal advisor and he's nowhere to be seen. And this becomes especially obvious on this page, because Pinkie's, Pinkie Pie says that he's present, and yet in all the pages where there are sugar could corner, uh, we don't see him at all, even though Shirley is there. In fact... We don't see him in the in this entire series, not even once. I think near the end. I think. No, I went to check. Uh, the very beginning. <laughs> I went to check uh, on the final issue, and I I didn't see him. Was he in the f beginning? No, I don't think he was even in the beginning. Okay, uh, okay I'm just. Quick scrolling through, uh, no, 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 he's not there, he's not there, uh, let's see, no, not even there, uh, in quick, quick glance, so, uh, no, 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 we, we do get sunburst, yeah, no, no, in issue one, okay. <laughs> yeah, see, that, that's what I mean, Spike's completely absent from this series. I, I, I like doing this um, just because uh, it, it brings up conversation and it's so dumb. But <laughs> Spike is in Cantalot, uh, manning down the station there, helping Twilight with uh, stuff. If he's not there, he's probably in the Dragon Lands, trying to understand what makes him a dragon. <laughs> yes, but that's never addressed, not even once. <laughs> that, um, it, no, I, I can't accept this, I'm sorry. <laughs> no! He's supposed to be her advisor, he, he never leaves her side. Then... No, 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 okay, no, I, I got it, I got I it, I got it. Uh, Spike is in Pony E3, or Pony Convention, yes. Uh, Comic Con, <laughs> <laughs> that's where he is right now. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, oh, God, yeah, they didn't put a poor boy, oh, the poor boy is here. Wait, what, what was that uh, convention that Cedar was at where he uh, did the after the fact for uh, for uh, for the Applejack and Spike uh, episode? God, uh, no. Spike at your service? I got no idea, man. It's... I think it was Spike at your service. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Winnie City? I, I don't know. Yeah, he's probably at Winnie City. <laughs> Well, right. So, anyway, continuing on, um, that that took us a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so anywho, um, we we have the four of them there. Uh, yeah. Pinkie Pie pairs up with Vi, and they're going to do streamers. And Pinkie Pie here just wants to hang out with Vi, get to know her a bit more, and just be friends. That, that's what Pinkie does. And if you think this is aversive. Ha ha! You have not seen um, Cranky Doodle Donkey. What was the episode oh, yes. called? God dang it. Um, hold on. It was, the best epi it was the best episode for season 2. Uh, Cranky. Yeah. A friend me. indeed. Yeah, that one. A friend indeed. Is it now? Give me a second. Let yeah. me, let me open it. Yes. Yeah, it's a friend indeed. Yeah, one of the best episodes. Because she is pers uh, persistent. Yes. This donkey is <sighs> really, really bald. 
<laughs> I forgive her because of the smile song. But anywho, continuing on with Vi, um, Pinky teaches her that, hey, um, can you do this? This is fun. And Vi suddenly becomes, becomes huge. What? I think uh, Pinky's just in the background. Uh, mm, okay. Pfft. So she she uh, Vi does her best, and she creates streamers with flowers and whatnot. And wow, Pinky is amazed by her talented work, and she calls Vi. And I'm going to read it verbatim. You have such a great style. These streamers are perfect. Vi blushes a bit and says, "Perfect me," and. With that, she smiles and puts her heart into doing the streamers because somebody appreciates her and yeah. that makes her feel good. Yeah, and here we notice something interesting. Going back to the previous chapter, it's clear that the witch's moms don't really have any high expectations for their daughters based on the letter they sent. And as a result, they're putting some pressure on their creations as a result. Mm. And since we now know that the Smoonies were made exclusively from, from uh, Grackle's magic, I think the good vibes from Pinky are starting to rub off on uh, Violet Shimmer. Yep, that, that, and that's good, that's good. But anywho, uh, while she's doing the streamers, uh, we see that, oh no, uh... Twilight's just feeling some weird juju out of uh, Vi here, and you could say she's you could say she's having bad vibes. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> and and the thing is, uh, Vi here is not even doing this on purpose. She's just using her magic, and the problem with her magic is it's evil. It's dark. It's, She's a smooth. Yeah, and it's negative. But Pinky doesn't really see it because what do you mean, Twy? She's just doing uh, what I asked her to do. And you said that... Sorry. Uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, this is going to be... Oh boy, this is going to be painful. Uh, actually, Twy, I did notice something. I, I noticed a shy pony... Uh, Finding joy in learning something new. Just because some pony enjoys getting in touch with their creative side doesn't mean, uh, doesn't make them weird. Uh, you were always perfect. You know, and I gave you a chance just like I'm doing with Violet. Pinky, just turn around and look! <laughs> <sighs> God damn it. Uh. Don't you just just hate those parts of stories when, if you ju if if the character would just uh, be looking in a different direction, then things would be coming something clear. <laughs> True that. But no, it all disappears in the last second. True that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! But hey, um, this is Piggy Pie standing up for a friend. That's something admirable. Admirable to yeah, that's something admirable. So, Twilight just says, You're right. I, I do need some help. Can you meet me in the woods tonight and bring some of those streamers? Uh, and the Pinkie Pie just is, says, This is just getting silly. And Twilight just says, Just do it. All right. And as and with that, uh, we go to the woods, uh, not far from Sugar Cube Corner. And they hung the streamers about. And they're arguing. They're, they're really arguing. I mean, we, we can see uh, Twilight saying stuff like, What do you mean I hung them crooked? It's not my fault. My magic couldn't make them hover. So they had to do it by hand. Okay. So they... Uh, and, well, Pinky is mean. Well, maybe you're not as powerful as you think. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Pinky! This smooth is doing its job. True, but damn! <laughs> 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 this is just. Oof. Uh, anywho. 
God damn it. Anywho, um, there's a crackle in the woods and Sakura pops in. Yay! Who won't appear again after this issue because she only exists as a tool to fix the Empire's problem. Boo! But she's here. <laughs> so that's it, yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> I, I'm, go- I'm going to summarize it. Uh, she comes in, say, yo, what's up? I'm here, Twi, you call me. Oh, wow. I'm feeling bad jujus here. W- what's going on? The streamers. The streamers have bad juju magic. Uh, I'm going to read it verbatim. Trust you might. Your powers won't bite. Uh, bite me. Pleased to meet you. I'm Zakura, the mighty. I see that you're doing such a clever mean trick. I'll discover your secrets. Pinkie Pie, please pass me a stick. Ugh, trick and stick. Okay, smart. <laughs> uh, so, uh, long story short, Zakura <coughs> pops up with a lab coat. Not strange, because we have seen her in a lab coat before. That's in Friends Forever? Yeah, it's yeah, it's in Friends Forever 21, the one with Spike. Yeah, so it's not strange. Just unusual. Yeah. <clears throat> one, good, one good thing I'll say is that uh, at least uh, the events of this comic are disconnected from season 10, so she's not a second race Twilight, at least. Yes. And we get the return of Dog Zakora. Mm-hmm. True, true. Um, <laughs> although referring to herself as a Korra the Mighty might be a bit much, although I guess this is done purely for the right to work. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> no, don't you just hate those situations where, hmm, I need to rhyme orange. Fuck, there's nothing that rhymes with orange. No, I have to get creative. Dorkinch? No, no, no. Mortgage. No, 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 no. Nobody likes mortgages. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But anywho, um, Sakura brings out the lab, and we see that Twilight too has get uh, is getting into the spirit. She puts on her lab coat. So Sakura does some science and whatnot. Um, put in a bit of the streamers into the beakers and whatnot, and boom, it blows up. Oh, that's not good. Um, Sakura says, "I done every experiment." Experiment perfectly to plan, but we're still without answers, and I don't understand. I'm trying to see what that rhymes with perfectly. Uh, still without answer, I don't understand. I feel that doesn't rhyme. Yeah, plan and understand. Uh, it's off. Boo! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. Um, experiment fails, so now um, Twilight is trying to figure something out. Like, uh, what happened to us? Like, okay, since this is dark magic or some really bad magic, so what happened to us? Like, do you notice anything, uh, Zakura, Pinkie Pie? And Pinkie Pie just answers like, yeah, it was, uh, it was like a fog, uh, an angry fog where I was so mad and wanted to hoof you upside the main and hang the stream of screw kit and uh, now, now she's fine. So, Twilight here has an idea. Uh, okay, what, what was she says? Um, I have... Uh, that's it. Uh, we were arguing until we touched the... We weren't arguing until we touched the streamers. What if... Uh, this is affecting Ponyville. I have Zakura says it's dangerous, and she says uh, I have to try. Uh, what if Violet Shiver has gotten into something dangerous? If we, uh, I need to do whatever it takes to help her. So yeah, th- that's good for Pi. Uh, thinking about her, so she's trying to communicate with it, absorb it. I, I don't know. Uh, she's trying to tell. Uh... From what I read back, I'm learning to tell where different magic comes from, how it works. Ah. Um, previous. Ah, uh, yes, absorbing, practicing as Yeah, it's that one, yes, that one. And by the way, um, Twilight's not wearing her lab coat anymore. 
Well, it's all exploded at this point. Uh, the girl had hers. I, um... <laughs> so, anywho, she's trying to absorb her, the magic and trying to learn where it came from. But, oh no! Um, the evil magic is too strong for her. Fascinating. She gets possessed by Smooth. Yes. Hmm. Fascinating. So, she tries. She goes after Pinky, trying to make her mad and whatnot, or trying to beat her upside the head. And Sakura just throws rock. I hit it with a big rock. <laughs> <laughs> so, Twilight or Smooth Light here um, uses her magic to grapple. Zakura and probably going to destroy her and Zakura just tells Pinky uh, Pinky my bag my bag grab the potion that's in uh, that's blue I'll hold off uh, I'll hold her off while you do and I think Pinky just smacks Twilight outside the um, outside the head is it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Once again, the perspective perspective looks uh, weird. We're picking throws the bomb at her and possess Twilight Falls in the river. It's, it looks really weird. It's... How do I put this? It's one of those things where when you look at it, right? Like, uh, it's telegraph. Like, um, Sakura tells Pinky to grab a potion that's blue all right that's correct uh the smooth light here says uh your potion means nothing the power here cannot hurt us blah 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 all right okay okay cool 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 cool, cool. but uh did pinkie pie just threw the potion bottle to twilight making her hit her head and fall into the lake Pawn? Something? If she was throwing a potion that exploded on impact, I think uh, it could have been drawn better to look like uh, an explosion knocked, knocked her uh, into the water. Probably. I That's, know that jar. Because this this really doesn't work, honestly. Yeah, it's confusing, but I know that jar. Have you played TF, uh, TF2, the, the sniper? Uh, no. Oh. That joke is for the few of you that plays it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, is that from the the trailer short of the sniper? Yeah, it's there too. Or something. It's there too. When he shoots the demo, the demo man's bottle, he gets his eyes stuck and then he blows himself up. Ah, uh, pfft. No, not not that, but still, uh, drawing doesn't convey what. Like, honestly, Pinkie Pie should just have a bag in her hand and just whack her outside the head, like done. But that's not the point. The point is, Twilight is sorry that she did uh, the things that she do because she was in control. She tries to stop it, but no, she was not too powerful. Uh, Zakura collects something out of the pond and tells the ponies to come back tomorrow because she has a feeling that she knows what's going to happen or she knows what she knows what to do uh, let's see what was it that she was to do uh, world yeah she, it's in the book surprisingly uh, it's in the book talking about parallel worlds, uh, different dimensions, and so on. So basically, they discovered that this magic isn't from their world. So Zakura is gonna make a ritual using that magic so they can open a doorway into their world and find help there. This that that statement that you made there conflicts with how. Dimensional hopping works in pon uh, in the pony universe because we do know that it exists. Yes, that's true, but it's usually in mirror form. Yeah, but 
this year, this now. That's interesting. Um, I don't know how canon it is, <laughs> but but it's something to ponder. So yes, anywho, carrying on. Twilight. That's right. Um, Zakura just says, "Come back later tonight. I'll help you guys with this. Uh, bring people you trust to go." So anyway, um, see you later tonight, suckers. And before I continue on, you want to, uh, you have anything to say about what we just talk about? Uh, honestly, I I got um, I got nothing on this one. All right, cool, cool. I I think we've been bantering in and out, so basically we have been <laughs> injecting our thoughts into it. So yeah, kind kind of cool, kind of cool. So anywho, we see that the ponies are gathering in front of Sakura's house. And this uh, Sakura says, "Okay, guys, um, I got the thing ready, so let's let's hop right into it. Uh, good luck." So, magic done. There's a key. Uh, her the her door to the house is becoming the portal, and Sakura says, "A dimensional." Invitation is open for you. Now turn the lock and simply walk through. While you wish to return, never fear. Knock on a tree and I'll be here. Okay, I don't know if that rhymes, but eh. Rhyming is hard. Fear here. Fear here. Yeah, but still, rhyming is hard. Eh. Yeah, it is. That's why I usually have my editor to help <laughs> with that one. <laughs> so, anywho. Uh, Twilight opens the door, and oh my goodness, they pop into a... Jiban land. I guess. Uh, let's... Uh, it's a pony land. <laughs> mm. So anyway, let's see what Applejack has to say. Well, snap my saddle and call me Sally. We did it. We're here. <laughs> we definitely did something, but what do we do now? And Rarity just says, maybe we can ask them. And by them, they mean ponies riding on rainbows. But they're not pink and fluffy. That's bad. Yeah. And to be continued. Yay. <laughs> so, anywho, um, final thoughts. So, Jacob, what do you think, man? Well, first, uh, the complaint uh, that we had uh, earlier in the discussion... Uh, Happens here as well, where the core is basically ma- making the potion, and all of a sudden the whole gang's looking uh, at the viewer, saying, "Oh look, there's a key!" Instead of showing the key being made, <laughs> that is true. I I, I could have <laughs> said that. Oh wait, this is Akura's key. Uh, she just dipped it into the potion to create a portal. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. And is this Zakura's house? Yeah, could you just imagine? Okay, that's done. Now going. Now Zakura's going to go through. Oh no, I end up at Detroit. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh no. This, this is the problem where... Personally for me, like... This is a problem where you, you try to do something new. Admirable, commendable... But you're... It's conflicting with pre-established... Canon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and if if they just ask Twilight to... Uh, no, if just Sakura... If Sakura just ask Twilight... Twilight, uh, when you come here, just bring a mirror, please. Uh, any full-length mirror, that'll do. Maybe Rarity has one. Okay, good. And that could work. You know? Yeah. But uh, honestly, in this case, I don't really have uh, much of a complaint since uh, I don't know how the parallel universes work because the parallel parallel universes we've seen was basically Equestria, just different, and this is a completely (laughs) different, I don't know, dimension. Uh, So, we're just completely different characters. uh, 
granted okay oh, okay. Um, I, okay i i have to give it to you there that's true so <laughs> rules for this are different probably so yeah uh, scratch my comment on that one yeah. but still and the main yeah and the main six uh, end up in poland and we finally meet the juan ponies i am disappointed at the end at the end of the third issue of this five-part series. <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably the biggest complaint that anyone who's read this series will have. And uh, is that the G1 ponies, uh, ponies are introduced so late. That is also true, but I am disappointed. You want to know why? Um, Why? Because here's the thing. We didn't get uh, G4 ponies looking like G1 ponies and vice versa. And also, we didn't get the quote-unquote ponies that they're referencing. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I was going to mention that, but I forgot. You don't get the G1 universe counter counterparts for the main six. Uh, I mean, here's the thing. Um, they, it, it could be that they're... How do I put this? Um, it could be that they're not popular enough, not the main characters, or not the established characters and so on. But, dude, you yeah. showed them in the first issue. I, I don't know any of these ponies. I know some. Great. I forgot what you call that thing when the cover is showing one thing, but uh, the content is completely uh, different. Uh, Pit and switch? No, um, I remember I said it a lot, uh, some time ago when I asked it the first time, but I, I forgot what you call it. Uh, um, I, I forgot. Ah, crap. I forgot, I forgot. Sorry about that. Maybe the audience at home can help us with this one. <clears throat> but still, uh, man, like, you already, uh, you, you telegraph it in the first cover. I am pissed off. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I remember. False advertising. False advertising, yes. Oh, but I am pissed off. Like, <laughs> is that the green one with the red streak and its mane? Is that Gusty? Uh, I am not sure. Uh, no, I'm not sure. I, I do have an inkling that the green and the green pony with the blonde mane is. Damn, I forgot her name. But. They reprinted her and they also made a G4 toy of her. They made a G1 Funko Pop of her. Oh. But still, I'm so confused. Uh, yeah. Anything else? Anything else? <clears throat> well, uh, honestly, the comics technically is still holding, but it, at this point it's kind of uh, going downwards a bit. Uh, hmm. Which part do you think is going down? Well, as I said, the G1 ponies are introduced a bit too late. Uh, I think that's pr uh, the biggest problem with this one. Yeah, yeah. And I'm still pissed off because the chorus once and get relegated to being the to to fix the problem, and she's not gonna appear again after this uh, comic. Oh wow, well, yeah, that, that that's true. also true. That's also true. Uh, and I'm guessing you're done. Yeah. All oh, right. For me, this comic was a fun read, like especially when you're reading back to back, so you don't have to wait that long, so you have a really good consistent story. So just looking at how the schmoos, uh, schmonies, are doing their job properly and causing havoc in Equestria is admirable. They're doing their jobs like their masters told them to do, and they're doing a good job, but. It's not enough because the witches want more. The witches want utter chaos. To make their mommies proud. <laughs> that, that's also true. And the the other part I do enjoy is that Pinkie Pie befriending or praising Vi here for a good job and making her doubt herself is perfect. I, I do like this 
formula. I do like this um, storytelling method. It's not done much in media, if I uh, if I'm honest to say, but it is very fascinating. I I, I do enjoy the uh, face turn, as they say. So yeah, yeah that, that that's really cool and. Like you mentioned before, uh, G1 at the end of book three, that's a big oopsie. Yeah. And not using the cover for the ponies, like, ah, oh, god damn it, you. Mm, yeah. False advertising. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm just pissed. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, too, um. They they really missed their chance on creating G one pony art for the G four ponies. It would be very stupid. It would be stupidly interesting to see, you know. Yeah, that's gonna be so cool. And oh god, like the oh, spoilers, I guess. But now I'm gonna save that for later. Uh, <clears throat> but anywho, yeah, coming ends. Uh. Uh. So, anywho, um, let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. If you have any questions, okay. concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dbcgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the BS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Jacob, where can the good people find you? You can find me on the DeviantArt under the username Yakapuntodakad, on the Twitter username Tales of the Ashes. If you're interested in reading the story Termola Rising, you can find it on filmfiction.net under the username JFT. And if you're interested in reading an original story featuring anthropomorphic animals in a medieval fantasy setting called Tales of the Ashes, you can find it on the talesoftheashes.com. Awesome, awesome. Guys, go check it out. It's very fun. Uh, and also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank, give me a second to open this <laughs> Patreon thing. I'm a bit slow on this. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank you, Jacob, Lucky Knight, Master of Black, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I've been Jacob. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! Bye-bye, everybody.